Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Gaming News Weekly Blitz. Three stories have surfaced this week, so let's go ahead and check them out. Valorant Anti-Cheat causing problems for a couple of games. The ESRB is introducing a new interactive element for in-game purchases. And Google Stadia is now for free. This first-person MMO, which was developed by Riot Games, has an anti-cheat system that causes a few problems for a few games, which is basically lag. How does this happen? Well, it is at the startup of drivers, not even when you launch the game. Let's dive in a little deeper. The new kid on the block, known as Valorant, created by Riot Games as a Counter-Strike spin-off, is making quite a scene in the gaming community. But it is not without its problems. According to this website known as TechRaptor, this article was made by Patrick Perrault on the Monday of April 13, 2020. According to this article, the problem starts at the driver level. The culprit is the anti-cheat system that Riot has introduced into Valorant, but it is taking up a lot more resources than one might expect. And I think a lot of people will start to uninstall this feature. According to a Reddit user known as Redbeard, recorded himself playing World of Warcraft and stuttering at regular intervals. When he uninstalled Valorant, the stuttering immediately stopped. Other users noted they were having FPS drops as well and Riot Arkham wanted Redbeard to start up a support ticket in an effort to try and get the ball officially rolling on solving this important issue, according to this news article. If you're experiencing similar problems, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and open command or press your Windows button and type in CMD and it will open up the command window for you. Then go ahead and type in SC query VGK. It should pop up and if it does, then you, it means you have the anti-cheat on your PC. Follow the link in the description to see how to deal with Valorant's anti-cheat causing lag. The ESRB is a company that rates games from PG to 18 plus. You might have seen their logo on the back of every game or on somewhere on the game itself before you purchase it. They have brought out a new element. It reads includes randomized items. This will mean that there are loot boxes, but isn't it a little vague? Let's take a closer look. The Entertainment Software Rating Board, or better known as the ESRB, is introducing a new interactive element known as in-game purchases or includes random items. Soon you will be seeing this new rating on any game that will include loot box type mechanics of all games. According to the blog on the ESRB website, which you can check out the link in the description, Consumers can make more informed decisions when purchasing or downloading a game instead of finding out after the fact. It reads further, According to research, parents are far more concerned about their child's ability to spend real money in games than the fact that those in-game purchases may be randomized. They do address the issue of why not saying loot boxes. According to the blog, Loot box is a term that doesn't encompass all types of randomized in-game purchase mechanics. We want to ensure that the new label covers all transactions with randomized elements. It reads further, Of course, we will continue to educate parents in all forms of in-game purchases, parental controls, and ESRB a assigned age content ratings. For more information about this article, check out the link in the description down below. And finally, Google Stadia is free for everyone to use, except there are a few issues with it. Let's take a closer look. Google has announced that you can play Stadia Pro for free, starting today. Published on the 8th of April 2020, this article reads, We are facing some of the most challenging times in recent memory. Keeping in mind social distancing is vital, but staying at home for long periods of time can be difficult and feel isolating. Video games can be a valuable way to socialize with your friends and family when you're stuck at home, so we're giving gamers in 14 countries free access to Stadia Pro for two months. Anyone who signs up will get two, three months of Stadia Pro with instant access to nine games including Grid, 
Destiny 2 The Collection and Thumper. You can purchase even more games in, on store which will remain yours to play even if you cancel your Stadia Pro subscription. Even this might be some good news for those stuck at home, but unfortunately if you're not within one of these fortune countries, you will not be able to access Stadia Pro at all. Reading further on this article, it states that to reduce load on the internet further, we're working towards a temporary feature that changes the default screen resolution from 4K to 1080p. The vast majority of people on a desktop or laptop won't notice a significant drop in gameplay quality, but you can choose to your data options in the Stadia app. If you wish to know more information about Google Stadia and how to play for free, go ahead and look into the description down below to a link to this article. And that concludes our show for today. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in and I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure to check the link down in the description for my channel, Baboon King. And also please give us your opinion about today's stories. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.